Hey everybody, I just wanted to discuss today a little bit about mindset. And as we go through life, whether you work in real estate sales or you work in customer service or you work in public service, whatever it is that you do, you're going to often come across where you're going to have to decide how to react to something and what actions you're going to take. <clears throat> and people can go either way here. You can take everything as, you know, oh, woe is me and I'm a victim and why do people keep doing this to me? Or you can have the positive response to, well, you know what, let's figure it out, let's move on. And that's kind of the difference between the successful people and the people that are not successful and are unhappy. There's also a balance between success and happiness. There are people out there, believe it or not, who make a lot of money, are very successful, and they're unhappy. And that has a lot to do with their mindset and possibly having their life out of balance. So what is success to you and what is happiness to you is probably not the same for me or for you know someone else that you may know. So you have to really sit and think about what is success and happiness to you and you go after that and don't worry about what somebody down the road is doing or another company is doing. You do what's right for you. And I see that a lot where people are worried about what everyone else is doing. And I get that. Like in business, you need to kind of know what your competition's doing and so you can improve and these sort of things. However, when you focus on it so much and you're thinking negatively about what someone else is doing or thinking negatively about what you're doing, it's hard to then get to a point of, you know, succeeding and success. So for instance, something sets you back and maybe a customer is really upset at you and you're like, ah, and you um, are maybe angry at the customer. Maybe you think that it's their fault or a competition or a competitor's fault or something like that. Maybe you don't even think it's your fault and you are just so upset that it um, immobilizes you from taking the proper action and having the positive mindset to move forward and beyond and maybe you have to fix this and move on to something else. Um, or maybe conversely, you're beating yourself up and you're like, oh man, I really messed that one up. I can't believe I did that. I'm a loser. I'm no good. I should quit. You know, no, like you have to, yes, t you know, take responsibility for something that is your fault. And if it's someone else's fault, say, well, I couldn't control that person. I can only control my reaction, my response to it. And then you come up with a plan and you move forward because this is your life. And I say this often, you probably heard me say this before, like this is it. Every day you should be doing things that bring you joy. And if you're doing things that are making you miserable, you really need to stop and think about your mindset and your beliefs and see if an adjustment needs to be made somewhere, whether it's in your external or your internal, which we all know internal, you know, is how you get your external. However, not everyone has that same belief, but that is the truth. So take a little time each day, whether you sit and meditate or when you're driving, you just kind of think about things or before bed, maybe you think about things. Um, and really decide what's going to make you happy and being grateful for the things that you do have that are what you want and then figuring out how to fix the things that maybe aren't how you want them. So I hope this little tidbit has been helpful for you today and I want to make more videos like this. So if you found this helpful, please let me know. And if you have any questions, let me know and I will respond and make another video. So I hope everyone makes it a great day. Thanks for watching.